am going to discuss about the topic of hypertext transfer protocol hypertext transfer protocol is an application level protocol that is used for distributed collaborative and hypermedia information systems this is the foundation for data communication protocol for the world wide web that is internet it is used to deliver html files and image files etc the default port of hypertext transfer protocol is 80 next see about what is the basic features of hypertext transfer protocol there are three basic features that a mac hypertext transfer protocol is a simple and a powerful protocol there are http is connectionless that means when you want a connection the client receives the message and the server responds the message second one is hypertext transfer protocol is media independent that means that handles any type of data next one is http is stateless that means connectionless see your board to component hypertext transfer protocol has three components three are client proxy and the server see your board to basic architecture of hypertext transfer protocol the following diagram shows a very basic architecture of a web application it is based on client server architecture what is web client the http client or web client send a request message to the server in the form of request method uniform resource identifier next see about what is web server the http server responds with a status line including the message protocol version that is called web server what is database it is a collection of information that are stored in particular location next is the about what is the hypertext transfer protocol status code when the client requests the connection message and the server responds to the that message the message is three digit identifier there are 200 the 200 means that the request is okay that means successful request next one is 301 the request message has moved into a new url that means moved permanently next one is 401 the request page needs a username and a password that means unauthorized request next one is 403 access is forbidden to the request page that means forbidden next one is 500 500 means that the request was not completed the server met on an accepted condition next one is 404 the server cannot find the request message that means not found thank you